great day here at RC Review because we finally have the Traxxas TRX4 um, High Trail Edition right here. It's finally being sold online. So I said, oh man, I gotta grab it. I have so many mini crawlers. So what we're gonna do is gonna compare it to the FMS FCX18. Look at that. You know, this is becoming a battle royale. This is the OG, the TRX4 M Bronco. FMS LC80, we're gonna put it out here, crawl it on the table, and then we're gonna go out on a course and do a side-by-side -side comparison of these vehicles, especially these two. We're gonna battle it out, all right? All right, Traxxas TRX4 M right here. I did a lot of videos on this guy right here. Strengths, weaknesses, kind of the highlights. Revolutionary vehicle, I, I must admit, because, you know, it was Traxxas, and they came out with other hop up parts and they priced it aggressively at $150. And I think it sold very well. And FMS came out crushing with these guys, uh, the Chevy K5, K10, and big, big boy right here. It was, it was a kind of a shelf queen that they made uh, with the FCX18 chassis and then Land Cruiser right here. 180 for these guys. And what's really cool about our new contender is it is $175 and quite a, uh, quite a good value below these guys. So I'm gonna tell you with performance, with looks, is it better than the, uh, the FMS? Is it worth the $25 upgrade from the Bronco? All right? Uh -huh -huh. What do you think? Not bad, huh? So it is not a comp crawler by any means. And, but I think what's really cool about it is, is, is un it understands what it is. Oh, look at that. I should see this. Look at that. Uh-huh, it's still alive. <laughs> That's a gnarly side hill. Much, I did it before. I'm not sure I could do it today in front of the camera. Uh, I pivot, pivoted a little bit. Oh my God, look at that. Not bad. Uh-huh. That right there is kind of what shocked me about this vehicle. So you don't expect much because it's a looker and it's lifted, brah. And it, it kind of outperformed these other guys, kind of outperformed this. So what's different about it, they made it higher, they made it wider, longer, a little heavier. You know, lifted 35% more ground clearance. It's got the same world beater um, clipless body mounting system. It's got real reflector headlights and the internals are about the same. Wheels and tires are, are different for sure, but the body is just beautiful and $25, not bad. So it, uh, I think definitely a lot more exciting than this and worth the $25 upgrade, especially because of the lights. And um, basically they got the bugs out as well. You know, I complained before there was too much binding uh, and, uh, and, 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 the, and it was really hard to crawl. But uh, this one, it, it kind of crawls okay. Look at that. I, I, I couldn't do that before with, with, the, uh, with the Bronco. And then it's got the pop. And then, you know, when you do the low gear, thing here you kind of regret it because it's way too slow i think this is like three miles an hour if you do um the low gear kit it's like one mile an hour so, you know so a little bit of binding but you could work through it and it's not like jumping out of place so it's not bad not bad and for some reason the steering on this seems to be even better than here so they kind of work that up so what i'll do now is i will give you some running video, some commentary on it, and then you come back to me, I'll give you some conclusions, all right? All right, let us party at Linda Vista Park right here. First little climb, not a problem. I didn't know what to expect, so I took it easy. And then I went to the rocks right away. And this is where it started to impress me because the old TRX4M had a lot of trouble here. And this guy with its clearance, Kind of look at that, slay that thing. And you know, the bumper hangs up here, but with the forward backward motor control, did well. All right, 
old favorite here, the FMS. Did really well. Look at that. The tires are not as good as the Traxxas. And here is the Chevy. FMS Chevy K5. Long wheelbase, big vehicle. And it is not in its element, but it, it's a survivor. You know, long wheelbase kind of does that. It uh, it saves itself. And this is about the limit. And it does well. So nice and balanced vehicle. The FMS LC80 with its little little uh, whining motor. All right, portal axles on the LC80. So that's a that's a key difference right there. It would have been hung up, although, but it did fine. So it has good ground clearance, even though the tires are not that big. So look at our long wheel this guy here. No problem whatsoever. It says, "What me worry?" Right here, long wheel base also means you get hung up more. So there, there it gets hung up, but it recovers. And then here, once it gets its front wheels over, it usually will make it to the top as long as the center doesn't get hung up. So pretty good here. Right there, it got hung up, and I said, "No, we uh, we go the side." And not bad. So this vehicle, pretty good. Just the steering radius is not is not good at all. Um, could have been better, but good good clean fun with a fairly big vehicle. And the X four M, look at that with such ease. So the modulation could be better for sure, but it is workable. For some reason, it uh, better than before. And right here, those tires, no foam, but they really work well. Right here, I'm trying to do the, a hard line, and it took a while, but it was able to do it. The FMS LC80 does the easy line. Crawls pretty good. Very easy to control with its motor. Not, not a lot of play in the drive train. Ooh. Two speed. If it, it wasn't obvious to you guys yet, two speed on this. Uh, so it is faster than the TRX 4M, and it is slower. <laughs> faster head slower. So this one, it wasn't quite able to make the bump. And right here is a little notch. It's able to do it with its good tires. FMS pickup truck has problems. So yeah, I'm showing the FMS just to give you a lot of context for the TRX 4M. You know, this is how it does compared to the competition. LC80 does well here. Uh, so in the future, I will have more vehicles all with the same tires. Maybe a little bit of weight on the tires on all of them. A little heavier in front to just to show their potential. Right here, a little notch. So, portal axles on this, it does pretty well. And this vehicle, once you get some good tires on it, it's quite good. So, I'm curious how the Traxxas will do with good tires right there this is kind of impressive not easy belly gets hung up but it's able to do it with its nice tires and here is the lc80 it actually was not able to do it and the pickup truck it had no so here we go the second gear and you can see the, the fms vehicles are able to jump a little bit do a little wheelie yeah, and nice. but not the well here's a speed test so that's the difference between second gear of the fms and the lc80 really is the fastest and uh 
track assist doesn't do bad but not quite steering radius of the lc80 good the k5 not so good and the tracks us really good look at that very impressive little machine for 175 all right what do you think of that pretty darn interesting right so the strength of this vehicle is the smoothness of the drivetrain where are you it's so smooth you can barely hear it just a little whine when it's under load and then the steering angle is really just kind of remarkable and you know this guy it got hung up a lot so it was kind of not fun on the on the course but this thing man it would just clear everything that these guys would so very it crawled <laughs> it trail crawled uh, and it, it uh, i even have a jump test so that's what it did well the uh the battery is good 750 lasted forever and this this tab mounting system is the best uh, i'm not sure if these are removable um some of them are some of them are not yeah it, it, it's just cool to have a removable body and this is the best you know it just fits your finger really well the weaknesses the motor is a little too fast would have been nice to have a middle ground and your option for low gearing is too low so that's that's a weakness there's no ball bearings i wish they put some ball bearings on the steering because that's really all you need to get rid of the that that little binding uh, at modulation and another weakness would be it would be nice to have a switch you know so you don't have to keep doing this uh most of these modern uh else uh mini crawlers 18 scale have switches now so you have to keep doing this do the wire so a little inconvenience there but the strengths like i said beautiful body good value 175 it beats these guys i mean these should be at like 160 or 150 uh because you know they're they're not traxas they're not actual they're still building up their reputation but very good options for sure and i think beautiful tires these tires i mean like you can buy i have a lot of tires and none of them are kind of really look this good or perform this well. So really balanced vehicle uh, is what you have here. Uh, and at the end of the day, it's really fun. It really looks cool and it's really fun. And that's kind of what you're looking for uh, in, in a mini cooler. You know, what, what are you going to have the most fun with? Look, look, how, look how maneuverable this bad boy is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lot more of these shootouts. Oh, a lot more of these shootouts. Put a brushless motor. Whoa, whoa. Did I do that? Brushless motor uh, and uh, just a little bit of weight on the wheels. This thing, could, uh, this thing could slay. So I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I think Traxxas kind of fulfilled the mission of this guy. And it stays true to itself. It's not a high-performance crawler like this Red Cat right here. Or the Furitex. It's just a fun, fun trail crawler for little kids and big kids. All right, so links in the description if you are interested in any of these vehicles. Thanks a ton.